Okay, so this is a story time. And this story time is about the time that me and one of my ex-boyfriends got caught um, not having sex, but something like similar to that. I was like 16 years old. <laughs> so yeah, um, I guess I can start from the beginning. Uh, from when we first met, we were like eight years old. Well, but um, either further back than that. Um, we had just moved into the neighborhood and our next door neighbors, they were really, really nice, but they were just occupying that the uh, that house for uh, their mom or his mom, him and his wife, his mom, it was his mom's house. And he was the older brother of my ex-boyfriend. We're just going to call him Jerry. <laughs> so Jerry and I, we met when we were like eight years old. He's like a couple months older than I am. So basically we're the same age. And he and his mother, they moved back into the house next door. Um, and his brother and his wife, they moved out into their own home. But anyway, um, so me and Jerry, we would, you know, get to know each other, play games, you know, hide and go seek and um, tag and all types of, you know, children games. And the more we, you know, the more we, you know, hung out with each other, you know, just played with each other, the more we liked each other. But I didn't want to admit that. Not at eight. I'm like, ew, no, you know. That is so embarrassing. Why would I say, you know, why would I admit to like it, you know? And uh, clearly he liked me too, but, you know, we were children and, you know, you know how that goes as children, eight year olds. <laughs> so as the years go by, we became closer and closer and we were best friends. And I remember when we were in the second grade, I'm kind of going back a little bit. We attended the same school for a little bit and I was so excited to see him. So like when I saw him, uh, I saw him one time <laughs> and I gave him some change, like some money for like lunch or something like that. Oh, God. Just that. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, children, I swear. Anyway. Um, okay, but yeah, fast forward and to like us being like 10 years old and it was like the first time he met like one of my cousins, one of my female cousins and you know, he, you know, was a little interested in her too, you know, I didn't really like that, you know, I was like, uh, this figures. And then like I met like, um, his, his brother. I thought he was really cute too, then. you know, I found him attractive. We were 10 at the time, okay? Found him really attractive, and he didn't like that either. So, you know, we were, you know, kind of crush on other people, and, but, you know, we still had a thing for each other. We still didn't want to admit it, or me more so. And I remember we were in the sixth grade, so by this time we were like 13 years old. Was it the sixth grade? No, we was in the seventh grade because we started going to different schools by then. We were uh, in the seventh grade and I remember this other guy I used to have a crush on. Uh, it was his friend, but I knew the guy first. Uh, we're gonna call him Benjamin. So, you know, I always kind of had a crush on Benjamin when we were in the uh, uh, elementary school and you know Benjamin and Jerry they end up you know becoming best friends and so they kind of put me in a weird situation because I I really liked Benjamin but you know I didn't necessarily want to upset Jerry because we kind of had the unspoken rule of hey we need we're gonna be together someday but uh yeah so anyway um so I end up telling Jerry that I, you know, like Benjamin, 
and you know he tried to play it off play it all cool and stuff you know like oh okay yeah we need to hook you guys up so we end up you know getting together me and uh benjamin end up getting together but you know we'll see each other not that often and i mean i liked him enough but you know after you know not seeing him as, as often as i would like you know the feelings kind of fade and you know uh, yeah, we just broke up. <laughs> so, and not long after, maybe like a couple years after, me and Benjamin, I'm sorry, not me and Benjamin, Jerry and I, we end up getting together and, you know, we get into a relationship. We were like 15, 15 at the time. And we finally got together uh, I kind of don't remember exactly how we got together <laughs> it's been so long anyway so we end up getting together and you know um, having fun and I don't know we just like finally you know it, it took us so long to get together you know and uh, mind you, I was not supposed to be having any type of good friends <laughs> at this, not even at 15, not 16, not none of that. But you know, I ended up, my first boyfriend was at <laughs> 14, <laughs> 14 years old. <laughs> anyway, so we used to, you know, uh, talk all the time, text each other all the time. He used to try to come see me when I was taking the shower. I mean, we live next door. You know, I would text him, I'm like, oh, I'm in the shower. Oh my God. Now I'm thinking about it and saying it out loud. That's, that sounds so bad. <laughs> so bad for a 15 year old to be doing. Oh, I'm in the shower, and he'll just go to my backyard and um, knock on my bathroom uh, window. Well, he'll throw something at it, you know, trying to trying to see if he can get a peek. I'm like, no. <laughs> But anyway, and we used to do stuff like uh, he would climb up to my window, and we would, like kiss through the window and stuff like that, and amongst other things. Not too bad, but yeah, it's just I can't repeat it on this video though. So one day we were talking, and my ex, well, he, you know, we were together at the time, Jerry. He was like, I bet I can get you to sleep with me. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, uh-uh, you can't do that, you know. I'm like, I'm a good girl. I'm not gonna just fall for, you know, fall for that, you know, cause we just got together not too long ago. And I'm like, I'm not just trying to give myself away like that, no matter how much I like you, right? But in a way, we would, you know, kiss and whatnot and, you know, I, I kind of admit, we would kiss and whatnot, and he would be like, you know, early in the morning. Uh, our our plans were early in the morning. He would meet me at my window, and I would come down, and we would just make out and kiss and all the other stuff. And then, you know, we would go in the house, and then we'll do that a couple times, and then one day one night well no one early morning he came out and he came to my window and I climbed down my window and we were just kissing and stuff like that and then you know I ended up laying on the ground and he was on top of me kissing and stuff like that and then a door opened like his side door opened it was his mom and I tell you, once she came out and she was like, I knew something, like, I don't know. I don't I don't even remember exactly what she was saying, but it scared me so bad. I was like, oh my God, my life is over. I jumped up uh, to my window because it's like a little ledge you can hang on to. And I jumped up back into my window. I swear to God, the adrenaline was rushing so freaking much that like oh my I, I cleared that window I mean I had that was the highest I've ever jumped in my life that was a big jump 
and I just did it effortlessly. I was so freaking scared. And she threatened to tell my, my parents the next day, and I felt so bad, and I kept thinking about it all that night. So when the morning came, I just, uh, I was like, instead of, you know, my parents finding out through her, I'm just going to go ahead and tell them. So that's what I did. I told them. And I really didn't feel like going to school that day. And I was allowed to stay home, <laughs> which I did. But she ended up coming over. And I was thinking, I was like, I already told my parents. I, for some reason, I didn't think that lady really liked me anyway. But uh, so she came over and she didn't talk about it. She didn't say anything about it as far as I'm concerned, but at least I don't remember her talking about it. But uh, like the next day, Jerry, he told me that uh, uh, apparently like she, you know, I guess my parents and her, they did kind of talk about it a little bit because I because I'm the one that brought it to the forefront. But uh but yeah well it was just very very embarrassing for me. <laughs> but um let me think uh, not too long after that like we end up moving and uh, we stayed together, you know, for a little while after I moved. But ultimately, I didn't want to be in a long distance relation relationship. So, yeah. And, yeah. And so, yeah. Uh, well, that's that for that story. Um, today he's married and he has children and yeah we don't really talk much um, honestly I would like to keep it that way because I don't want to you know I don't want it to be weird you know um, yeah that's it for that story <laughs> so uh, just enjoy um, the rest of this speed art <laughs>